We present Prompt HMR, a method for promptable human mesh recovery. Human mesh recovery is classically viewed as a pixel-to-parameter regression problem. In particular, most methods take a tightly cropped image and output the parameters of one person. This narrow definition discards broader context present in the full image, preventing current approaches from reconstructing scene-grounded 3D humans and meaningful social interactions. Moreover, classical HMR models specialize in 3D human pose and shape, but understand very little about what people are doing. In contrast, today's multimodal foundation models have a deep semantic understanding of images, but don't have the 3D inferenceability of an HMR model. The strengths of these two approaches should be combined to benefit each other. As a step towards this more holistic approach, we develop a method to flexibly fuse image context with spatial and semantic side information. Consider this example. When human detection struggles to locate everyone in the scene, face detection can still provide reliable human detection. Consider the next example in which two people are closely interacting. Segmentation masks offer more precise spatial detection than boxes. Moreover, it would be beneficial to model the interaction explicitly. Consider this next example, where it's harder to estimate the person's body shape from image alone. Having additional information from text input helps resolve some ambiguities. Based on these observations, we reformulate HMR as a promptable recovery problem. Specifically, given a full image and a set of prompts, Prompt HMR aims to take full advantage of available information to robustly and coherently reconstruct humans in the 3D scene. We consider four types of prompts. First, the model accepts box prompts, which provide human detection. Different kinds of boxes can be used, such as face detection boxes, making the model flexible to work with different detectors. Moreover, our model accepts segmentation masks, which are more useful in close interaction cases. In addition, the model accepts an interaction prompt that can turn on cross-person attention layers to explicitly model the person-person interaction. Finally, our model accepts text prompts that provide body shape descriptions to improve shape accuracy. Prompt HMR consists of three components. The image encoder extracts image embeddings with a vision transformer. Camera intrinsics are encoded as per-pixel ray directions and added to the image embeddings. Next, the prompt encoder takes multimodal prompts and transforms them to tokens of the same dimension. Finally, the simple X decoder applied cross-attention between the prompt tokens and the image embeddings and decode the output tokens to simple X parameters. We do not include face and hand parameters in this study. Our model achieves state-of-the-art results both quantitatively and qualitatively. We now show the effect of different prompts. Regarding box prompts, our method is stable with different box inputs, ranging from small face-bounding boxes and truncated boxes to full person detection boxes. We visualize a continuously changing box and its effect on model prediction. Next, we demonstrate the purpose of mask prompts. In this example, it's difficult to tell which person the bounding boxes refer to due to the interaction. As a result, the model makes duplicate predictions. In contrast, mask prompts provide precise spatial detection, and our model reconstructs the correct interaction. In this part, we show how we control the interaction layers with interaction prompt. The interaction prompt is a binary variable and acts like a switch, which turns on the cross-person attention layers when appropriate. In this study, we turn on these layers to model two-person interaction in datasets such as HI4D and turn them off in other datasets. Here, we show the effect of the interaction layers. Without the promptable interaction layers, training on CHI3D interaction data does not generalize well to the new HI4D dataset. Adding the interaction layers largely improves the accuracy. Finally, combined it with training on HI4D data, Prompt HMR recovers interactions more accurately. Next, we show the effect of body shape description using text prompts. Here we show the body shape predictions from our baseline model that is trained without the text prompts. If we add text during training and inference,
the model predicts body shape more accurately, demonstrating the benefits of fusing multimodal information. We now show some qualitative results. As a comparison, multi-HMR follows the pixel-to-parameter approach to jointly detect and reconstruct people. We observe that it tends to miss detections and struggles when people are close together. In contrast, our model is able to use the box prompts to locate and reconstruct all people of interest. The relative positions of the humans are more accurate, recovering a realistic multi-human scene. Consider this example. Multi-HMR predicts wrong depth ordering, as shown on the right. In comparison, our model recovers the correct depth ordering. Consider this crowded scene. Multi-HMR duplicates and misses detections. The placements of the humans are not coherent. Prompt HMR is able to use a combination of boxes to help the reconstruction process, leading to a more coherent reconstruction. We also extend prompt HMR to video by including a temporal transformer at the decoding phase. It also outputs contact probability, which we use in post-processing to reduce foot skating. Combined with the metric camera motion from TRAM, we project the human motion into the world coordinate to recover world-grounded motion. We now show qualitative comparisons with state-of-the-art video-based methods. Prompt HMR video yields more accurate world trajectory since it uses metric SLAM to transform human trajectory to world coordinates. Therefore, it is able to decouple human and camera motion better compared to GVHMR. Our method is able to handle vertical motions like jumping in this example better. GVHMR is trained on a mass and bedlam data sets which does not have diverse vertical motions. Next, we compare our method with TRAM. Unlike TRAM, our method is able to estimate whether a joint is in contact. We can use this to post-process our results to reduce foot skating. This allows us to get more stable world trajectories. Compared to TRAM, prompt HMR video does not suffer from foot floating above the floor. Here is another example showcasing the benefits of contact prediction to ground the motion. Finally, we show more in the wild results. Prompt HMR video is able to recover complex motion captured by dynamic camera and demonstrate robustness in a wide range of scenarios. Thank you for watching. Please refer to our paper for more details.